Hey folks, Mr. Lockhart here. This video is gonna be a time lapse, and what I'm gonna do is just basically talk over the animation, highlight a couple of the things that I see. Um, this whole animation probably took me about 45 minutes to an hour to try to keyframe. So let's kind of notice a handful of things. Notice that I've got the node view playing. I've also got this rigged character. The character is already done with the mouth subs. And now that I have the mouth subs and the audio in, I'm going back in and trying to fix some of the acting. One of the things I like to do is to start with the eye blinks at the beginning of a performance. And then later I'll go back and get the mouth movement to match up the mouth subs. And then later I'll go back and, you know, fine tune the rest of it. I'll finish the, the last step that I'll do is like squash and stretch of the head and any tilting and rotation of the head. So in this segment right here, I'm really working on some eye blinks and I'm working on the eyebrows and I'm thinking about the emotional context of the actual film. So like, what does the character say? It's a, it, it's a, a reckoning. It's this part where they realize, you know, Nacho Libre realizes, okay, things are gonna get really uh, intense. <laughs> So in this next segment of the time lapse, I'm just about finished with the eye movement and the eyebrows. And then what I really need to work on is a mouth. So when I start working on the mouth, I'm gonna think about anticipation. Remember that principle of animation with anticipation, things are gonna move backwards just a nudge before the big action happens. So what I'm thinking about is the big action is when my character says what they're gonna say, the big thing that they're gonna try to shock the audience with. So you can kind of see those keyframes in red with all of the subs, that's where the movement's gonna be. So you can see like the the keyframes above, that's where the, the peg animation and the keyframes are housed. Whereas on the bottom in red, we have all of the, the mouth sub keyframes. After that, start to work on the face. And when I'm just about done with the face, I'm gonna go in and adjust the nose because it makes sense to, to move the nose around a little bit since the mouth is gonna be moving as well. Try not to move the nose too much if you decide to use this technique because um, it's just gonna be a little distracting. A little bit of movement works out pretty nicely and it goes a long way. And now it's time to wrap this up. So it's really good time lapse. Now that I'm done working on the face, it's a good time to go and work on the overall shape of the head independent of the face. I don't wanna squash and stretch um, the eyes and the nose and the mouth. So that's why I have that separate peg. Once I'm pretty much done with that, we can just uh, can finish off the animation and here's the reveal. Thanks for watching. Tonight. I will fight the seven strongest men in town. Maybe the world. <laughs>